When a 22,000 US ton steel structure needs to be lifted in the middle of a raging sea, you don't just need a crane, you need a monster. A machine so massive, so powerful, it redefines what's possible in marine construction. That machine is the SSCV Sleipnir. But this billion and a half dollar Titan wasn't built just to break records. It was forged out of necessity to meet the next great challenge in offshore engineering. As platforms grew to impossible sizes, the industry needed a machine that could lift the impossible. To understand the solution, you first have to appreciate the sheer scale of the tool. The Sleipnir isn't just a ship with cranes on it, it's a semi-submersible vessel, a class of its own. Stretching 728 feet long and 335 feet wide, its deck space alone is larger than two professional football fields. But the main event is the pair of cranes that dominate its profile. Designed and built by Hausmann, these are not ordinary heavy lift machines. Each one can hoist 11,000 US tons. Working in tandem, they can lift a staggering 22,000 US tons. That's the equivalent weight of two Eiffel Towers or about 10,000 pickup trucks lifted in a single, coordinated move. The booms can reach an incredible 466 feet into the air, giving them the height and reach to tackle the largest offshore structures ever conceived. Powering this behemoth is a unique system for a vessel of this type. It runs on liquefied natural gas, or LNG. In 12 massive tanks, it holds enough fuel to cross the Atlantic and back. This choice provides the raw power needed for its eight thrusters, which give it a transit speed of 12 knots. But more importantly, those thrusters are the key to its stability, a critical point we'll return to. This is a vessel of superlatives, the largest cranes, the first of its kind to run on LNG, and a price tag of $1.5 billion. But numbers on a spec sheet don't tell the whole story. A machine this powerful doesn't get built on a whim. So what challenge out on the open ocean became so immense that it demanded such an audacious solution? The answer lies with the aging titans of a previous era. For decades, the North Sea has been a hotbed of oil and gas exploration. Gigantic steel and concrete platforms were installed, marvels of their time, built to withstand some of the harshest marine environments on Earth. They were built to last, but they were never designed to be easily removed. Today, hundreds of these platforms are reaching the end of their operational lives. They have to be decommissioned, and that presents a monumental engineering headache. These aren't simple structures. A topside module, the part of the platform with the drilling rig, processing facilities, and living quarters can weigh tens of thousands of US tons. For decades, the standard method for removal was a piece-by-piece -piece reversal of the construction process. It involves sending teams of workers offshore for months, sometimes years, to cut the platform into smaller, manageable sections. Each piece would then be lifted onto a barge by smaller crane vessels. It was a slow, incredibly dangerous, and astronomically expensive process. Every hour spent offshore, every cut, every lift added to the risk and the cost, a cost that ultimately runs into the tens of billions of dollars for the entire industry, with estimates reaching upwards of 50 billion. The industry was facing a crisis. The sheer number of aging platforms created a backlog of hazardous work, a new approach was needed. The problem wasn't just about lifting heavy things, it was about changing the entire philosophy of decommissioning. Instead of taking the mountain apart stone by stone, what if you could just lift the mountain? This was the tension point that gave birth to Sleipnir. The concept was simple, but revolutionary. A single lift vessel. A machine powerful enough to sail out to a platform lift the entire 20,000 US ton topside off its foundations in one go and carry it back to shore for dismantling in a safe, controlled yard. This approach would take a job that lasted years and shrink it down to a matter of days. It would take thousands of dangerous man hours offshore and reduce them by over 90%. It was a pivot from brute force endurance to elegant, overwhelming power. Hope 
for an industry facing a logistical nightmare. Before the Sleipnir's cranes can lift a single pound, the vessel must become an unshakable island of steel in the middle of the ocean. This transformation is achieved through a precisely controlled and massive scale balancing act, the ballast system. The Sleipnir's eight enormous columns and two lower pontoons are not just for buoyancy, they are a network of interconnected ballast tanks. To prepare for a lift, high capacity pumps move tens of thousands of US tons of seawater into these tanks, causing the entire vessel to sink deeper into the water. This operating draft lowers its center of gravity and places its buoyant pontoons far beneath the violent action of the surface waves, providing immense baseline stability. But the system's most critical task is to actively counterbalance the load. As the cranes begin to take the strain of a 20,000 US ton topside, the ballast control system simultaneously and automatically transfers huge volumes of water between the tanks on the opposite side of the vessel. It's a dynamic process, ensuring the slate near remains perfectly level, even with the weight of a skyscraper hanging off one side. This is what makes the slate near's power possible, and it's what separates it from any machine on land. To put its 22,000 US ton tandem lift capacity into perspective, consider the world's largest land-based cranes. Giants like Big Carl are engineering marvels in their own right, but they top out with maximum lifts of around 5 to 6,000 US tons. The Sleipnir can lift over three times that amount. Why the immense difference? A land crane is ultimately limited by the ground beneath it. It needs a vast, perfectly prepared foundation of compacted earth and concrete to spread its load. The Sleipnir has no such limitation. Its foundation is the entire ocean. By using the near incompressible power of water as a counterweight, it achieves a scale of leverage and stability that is physically impossible to replicate on shore. It doesn't just use brute force. It uses the fundamental principles of naval architecture to become the strongest crane platform on Earth. With the ballast system providing an unshakable foundation of steel in the ocean, as we've seen, the Sleipnir can lift 22,000 US tons. But raw strength is only half the battle. How do you keep a 700-foot-long vessel perfectly stationary in the unforgiving chop of the North Sea while doing it? Any uncontrolled movement during a critical lift could be catastrophic. This is where the Sleipnir's semi-submersible design and its advanced positioning system come into play. After the ballast system provides the core stability, the final layer of precision is applied. This is the job of its brain. The Sleipnir is equipped with a DP3-class dynamic positioning system, the highest and most redundant rating possible. A network of sensors, satellite receivers, and computers constantly analyzes the vessel's position with centimeter-level precision, down to the inch, while also monitoring wind, waves, and currents. This system is the vessel's central control system. It automatically and continuously controls the eight powerful thrusters, each capable of rotating 360 degrees. If a two-foot wave pushes the vessel to the port side, the system instantly calculates the exact amount of counterthrust needed from specific thrusters to push it back into position. If the wind picks up from the north, the thrusters will fire to counteract it before the hull has even moved a few inches. It is a constant, delicate, and immensely powerful dance. The system is triple redundant, meaning there are three independent systems working at all times. If one fails, another takes over seamlessly. This technological backbone is what allows the crane operators to perform their work with such incredible precision. It ensures that when those hooks connect to a 22,000 US ton topside, the only force at play is the controlled, vertical pull of the cranes, not the chaotic, unpredictable forces of the sea. It's the invisible technology that makes the impossible lift possible. While the Sleipnir was born from the problem of decommissioning, its impact now extends far beyond taking things apart. It has become a primary tool for building the next generation of offshore megaprojects, from oil and gas to renewables. By proving the single lift concept, it has changed how engineers design new platforms and infrastructure. 
They can now build larger, more integrated modules on land, where it's cheaper and safer. These massive modules, weighing up to 20,000 US tons, can then be transported and installed in a single piece by the Sleipnir. This drastically reduces the amount of complex and expensive offshore hookup and commissioning work. From installing the foundation jackets for massive offshore wind farms to setting the topsides on new gas production platforms in the Mediterranean, the Sleipnir is now at the forefront of energy construction worldwide. It represents a fundamental shift in the industry, a move towards bigger, more efficient, and safer operations. The initial $1.5 billion investment was a monumental risk, but it was a calculated one. By enabling single-lift operations, the vessel saves its clients hundreds of millions of dollars on both installation and decommissioning projects. It pays for its own massive cost by making previously uneconomical projects viable and by making existing operations safer and more efficient. It is the ultimate example of spending money to save money, writ large on the open ocean. So when you see a 22,000 US ton structure being lifted in the middle of a raging sea, you now know it's not just about the monster doing the lifting. It's about why that monster had to exist, to solve the multi-billion dollar problem of the past and build the mega projects of the future, from oil rigs to wind farms. The SSCV Sleipnir is more than a record breaker. It's a game changer, a testament to the fact that in heavy construction, Sometimes the only way forward is to think bigger. Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.